and the top percentages I can for this next game and just see how it goes from there. Is that almost even more, I guess, frustrating if they're just little things rather than something major? Or? I would say so. Obviously, I'm happy that they're minor just because I don't want to sit off on the sideline ever again. Did enough of that sophomore year, so. But yeah, it is. It, it, it can be a little frustrating. The little things that can hold you back so much, but it's it's not a big deal right now. And uh, Bree has been great. Her medical staff's awesome, and I'm just working with them to get back to the way I was. Last thing, just to make sure, like you found out that you were starting. Was that on Saturday morning meetings, Friday night meetings? Um, it was. So our Sunday meetings, I was told a little bit. But, uh, oh, so you knew after, a week in advance? Um, right, yeah, right before the before we started practice. So, um, just repeat what you did last year at Purdue, right? As simple as that. Well, uh, hopefully, if I get the opportunity, I'll do better. There's a lot of things I thought I let slide, so I didn't have the performance that I really wanted to. And whoever whoever's in, I'm fine with. Mark did a great job uh, in the last game. He, he sparked us and he ran the ball awesome. So if he starts it off and he's doing great, I'm happy for him. And I, that's what exactly what we want. But if I do get the opportunity, yes, I would like to have more of a game that I did last year. But it's it was all thanks to the line and Jake with his checks last year. But again, last year's last year. So we just have to uh, focus on this year's Purdue team and see what we get from there. Is there a huge difference between Jake and CJ in the huddle, how they run the team, how they manage downs, anything? That... Uh, no, not that not that much of a difference. They're both confident, and uh, it's great to see uh, from CJ being a young guy and then a couple years into it now. Um, even though he hasn't gotten as much uh, time in, he's still very mature and he's still ready to go, and he's a uh, smart nose game. And Jake, as we already know, he, he uh, very well into the game as well, and he's confident and knows what he's doing, and he's a smart guy. So there's not much difference, which is a, a great thing for us, obviously, that we have two quarterbacks that can get the job done and both make great plays. Jordan, you uh, you and some of your teammates visited a, a boy in the hospital, and I think it was in early August during your two a days, and then he passed on. But the family kind of seems to have really taken to you. Uh, Jackson, I think his name is. Yeah. Do you you still do you still have like a, an arm bracelet or anything? Yeah, I still wear his bracelet every day. Um, that's just obviously a huge thing for me. I didn't get much time to really meet him. Words weren't uh, exchanged between us, but just seeing the condition he was in and uh, hearing from his family how much he fought, and then just a couple of days later hearing about him, his passing, it's, it's a crazy thing. And it's just an awesome thing hearing about how great of a kid he was and how, much, uh, how many lives he's changed. And the fact that I could be a part of that and just like have met him at the little I did is just an awesome thing. So I just wear his bracelet just to remind me of like the things that I go through don't even compare to what others go through. And you can still just live life just being happy and just uh, keeping everything positive. What's that mean to you when you see a family? I mean, if, if even for a couple of minutes or an hour, you kind of help them you know, through the either the grieving process or just through that type of situation, is that is that a humbling feeling? Um, it is. It's just a very emotional thing. Obviously, just being a part of mm -hmm. family losing someone so close and special to them, and uh, being able to help out in any way that I can, and showing the support mm -hmm. is just something that I'm willing to do, and uh, that's the least I can do. So, and putting and just thinking about myself being in those shoes, just losing someone I loved. It's it's a painful thing and luckily I haven't had to deal with that uh, in, uh, so far in my life so it's just if I'm able to do it if I'm able to help out in any way I, I'm glad to and I'm, I'm really uh, grateful to be able to um, be supported by his uh, the people that were behind Jackson because his family's awesome his supporters were awesome and that I'm able to wear a bracelet that um, symbolizes a kid that was that special it's just humbling for me yeah. how often do you wear it i wear it every day yeah do you have it on now even? Yeah. yeah i remember last time i took it off after that day so um, it's something i uh, wear in practice and obviously wear in the game so it's uh, it's not something to just get the attention of and I, I don't care what anybody says about that it, it is just for the matter of the kid it was a special kid and I'm grateful to be able to experience what I did and just learn from it and 
it's uh, it's a real humbling thing when because we uh, a good amount of us guys we go to the children's hospital all the time and yeah I, I make that a pretty weekly thing and visit kids or visit adults there and it's it's real humbling uh, that I'm blessed with what I have and just that I'm not sick or anything like that so it's just uh, a good thing to be able to give whatever time we can to go uh, go make someone happy thanks